Hey guys, I'm back. This is Samurai TX. This is Sol today. Last time we left off, we um, um, exposed Miss May for tapping the victim's bone. Uh, but obviously she's escaped her way out of this, it seems, by saying she delivered iced coffee. So, Snake, what do you want to do? What do you think we should do, Snake? Um, we, well, uh, crime's a different crime, as you said in the, la in the last video. So, uh, we're gonna have to talk to the bellboy. This is the only way we're gonna have to do this. You got a point. Let's call the bellboy. The folks would like to call the hotel bellboy as a witness. There's something suspicious there, and I'm going to get to the bottom of it. I think you've sunk quite low enough already. Objection! I object to calling the bellboy. But why? What's your reason? Because I hope that wiretapping had nothing to do with their killing. However, if you agree on one condition, I'll consent to calling this witness. Condition? If Miss April Ray's alibi is not called into question after you examine the bellboy, then you will recognize that Miss April Ray was not the killer. Thus, she is innocent. Therefore, you must accept the verdict of guilty for Maya, Miss Meyer Fay. That is my condition. What? I'd better find something suspicious in that bellboy's testimony. Otherwise, Maya will be declared guilty on the spot. What should I do? Well, we said we should call the bellboy snake, so we're gonna have to accept the condition. Yeah, let's do this. Let's accept! Alright, I've got nothing to lose, except for, well, everything. Understood, I accept your condition. Hmm. Fool. You fell right into my trap. Uh oh. Uh, uh, wait! Very well. The court calls the hotel bellboy to the stand. I believe we're ready for the witness to testify. He certainly does look like a bellboy. Yes, sir. I received your summons in the middle of work, sir. I'm happy to be at your service. That tea set looks rather heavy, so without further ado, the witness may begin his testimony. Very good, sir. Miss May's ape room service. Okay. I am, I am the head bellboy at the gate of gate water, at the fine gate water hotel. In business for four generations. I believe I received a call after eight in the evening from our guest Miss May. Oops. She asked for an iced coffee to be brought to her at nine on the dot, sir. I brought it to her precisely at that time, of course. And I delivered that iced coffee to our great Miss April May herself. I know it doesn't sound posh, but sorry, I can't do a posh accent, but I tried to do it the best I can to make him sound posh. Because bellboys do sound a bit posh. <sighs> sorry. I see. The defense may begin its cross-examination. Right, I'm ready. I hope. This is it. If I can't prove Miss April May was involved with the murder now, Maya will be finished. Looks like we're going to have to press because he's not got a contradiction there. So let's press every detail on this. What exactly is it you do at the hotel? Why anything required of me, sir? I check in guests, I check out guests. I clean rooms, I make beds. I even deliver room service, sir. You do this by yourself? You don't even have no staff? Wow, that must be hard for you, bellboy. I checked Miss April this May. Personally. Are you always so, so prime? Mr. Wright, you will refrain from asking frivolous questions. I believe I received a call Press. Are you sure it was Miss April May on the phone? Absolutely, sir. But how can you be so certain? I checked Miss May personally, sir. Not only did I see her in her stunning radiance, but I also heard her voice. And then I saw them, and I... Ahem, uh, ahem. The point being, I remembered her quite well, sir. Yes, well, what then? Mm -hmm. Press on that. Nine on the dot, you say? Yes, I confirmed that detail several times. She was watching a program on TV, and I wished to drink. And wished to drink after she finished, sir. Nine on the time. 
damage again. Precisely 9 then? Precisely, exactly, and most definitely so, 9pm. How can you be so sure? Miss May was quite insistent that it would be broke then. Oh, bell boy, TV. I'd like, like iced coffee at exactly 9 o'clock. Something like that, sir. Therefore, I knocked on her door at the crack of 9, sir. Why would she be so particular about the time? Press again. Gotta press the details because he's not lying, really. He can't you can't accuse the bellboy of murder if, he's, if he works in a hotel. Are you sure it was Miss April May herself? Absolutely, sir. Absolutely. Yes, sir. As in very, so very absolutely, sir. It's an endearing mannerism of mine. How can, how come you're so very certain? Well, uh, I bought room service, sir. She, she get the guest, sir. She favoured me with, uh, with uh, an impressor, sir. Impressor? Is that French for embrace? It's French for kiss, sir. But not a French kiss, sir. More of a peck on the cheek. Well, why would she have done that? I believe perhaps she was momentarily swayed by my grim demeanour, sir. It was a moment I shall never forget, sir. Never have you. Sounds pretty fishy to me. I think Miss Bay was up to something she wanted to go to remember her. It's no good! There's nothing there. Is is that it? <laughs> Finally you understand. The Broadway has absolutely no reason to lie. Now, if you have any decency, you will end this rather tedious cross examination here. Hmm, it was a bit tedious. You just may leave the stand. I can't let this happen, can I? As protest, because we've got nothing to lose here. Well, my affair would go jump if we have to give up. Well, wait! Please wait! Yes, does the event have something to add? One last question. Let me ask one last question. Your Honor, I must object. This charade of justice has gone on long enough. No, no, Mr. Edgeworth. All right, Mr. Wright. I'll give you one more question, that's all. Okay. This is really it. Now this is my last chance. What do I ask him about? Check him, then make him. No, that don't make no sense. Well, let him talk more about room service, actually. T tell me again about uh, room service. Uh, again, sir. At exactly nine. I delivered room service to Miss May at 3 of the room 3 of 3. I guess the coffee had guessed it iced coffee. $18 was the charge as I recall. $18? That seems expensive for one coffee. I see. Huh? $18? Doesn't that seem a bit expensive? Yes, well, iced coffee for two, you know, and we don't skip on ice, sir. What did he say? What did you say? Ah, oh, uh, rather quite. Bellboy, tell us the truth now. Was someone else staying in Miss May's room? Oh, that's interesting. I object. Wait, I object. That was objectionable. Objectionable. The witness wanted the question. Uh, yes, I see. Table smash. Why did you not mention this in your testimony? Well, sir, uh, you, uh, you didn't ask. Nice try. That's, so, that's the sort of thing you're normally supposed to mention. Uh, yes, quite indeed. It was the uh, good barrister over there, Mr. Edgeworth, who... He asked me not to mention if I wasn't specifically asked, sir. Oof! You, you fool! Ah, you son of a... Gun, you tried to cheat. You tried to cheat, Miles Edgeworth. I've done it. I've won. Miss April May checked in the a twin room with a man. Correct? Yes, sir. Then when did you when you brought them them rooms of us? You didn't see that man in the room. That's right, sir. Your Honor, we have just learned another person involved may have been the murderer. 
In the new light, I have hoped that it's impossible to judge the defender. Do you agree, Mr. Edgeworth? Who? Who is this other person? Simple, it was... The man with this maple may. Can't be the bellboy. Because the bellboy, um... Bellboy delivered room service. He technically was another murderer scene. And Miss April May was at the window, so she couldn't have done it if she was the one that called police. The man with Miss April May. Table smash. The man who checked in with Miss April May. Oof! Your Honor, as it's been previously revealed, Miss April May was tapping the victim's phone. Yet Miss May herself has an alibi at the time of the murder. However, that does not clear the man that was with her. That, the bellboy saw no one else in the room at the time of the murder! No, no, why, what a convenient little setup, but it's too late. Too late? I suppose you'd like it if it was too late, wouldn't you? After all, it was you who hid the presence of the, of the man in the, from this court. Oof! You got caught, Edgeworth. Upstart amateur. But these accusations are ludicrous. Enough! The court acknowledges the defense's argument. I expect the prosecution and defense to look into this matter fully. Am I understood? Yes. <clears throat> yes, Your Honor. That is all, that is all, for t that is all for today for the trial of Miss Maya Faye. The court is adjourned. Phew! That was close. Oh my god. Oh, there you go, Snake. September 7th, 2.24 p.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number One. We just found out that there's another person that could have murdered Miss Mia Ferry, Meyer's sister. So Meyer's been uh, not judged guilty or not guilty yet. So we're gonna have to do another investigation. It seems. That is correct, Snake. Mr. Wright, you were amazing in there. But really, I think I might be your newest fan. Oh, I was just doing my job, you know. <laughs> then again, that other attorney was pretty cool too. Huh? That face of his, with his eyes, with his eyes wide and trembling lips, it sent shivers down my, sp my spine. He says, "So what happens with me? Do I get to go home now?" No, no. I don't think so. Not yet. Oh, I see. But well, I got a great lead in today's trial. A lead? That man, Miss April May. He's the key. Oh, I get it. What happened to Miss May after that, anyway? I heard they arrested her. She's learning her child from work everywhere. She's probably at the detention center now and may have to go down there later. Anyway, this case is far from closed. Yes, sir. I'm going to find out more about this man. Do you think he was the one who... Maybe so. Sis. Don't worry, I'll find him by tomorrow, I promise. I'm counting on you. There we go with the Metal Gear Solid reference. Well, you just hear that Metal Gear Solid a lot and other things. I can't on you. Yep, Snake, you said it as well. Toby couldn't. Well, I asked for a full record of Miss April May's testimony. I thought it might come in handy during the trial tomorrow. But now I have it, I'm not so sure. Most of her testimony was all lies. In fact, there was only one part that I got left on the record. I don't know how much good this will do me at all now. Anyway, time to hit the pavement and do some investigating. Maya doesn't belong in that detention center and it's up to me to get her free. <laughs> to be continued. I, I actually like this theme, you know, the um, jingle theme. Uh, well, that was only half of the trial. You've got to do more investigating. So, when we come back folks, we will do more investigating and find out more about this man with Miss April May. Um, until then, until then, thanks for watching.